It's Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jana. Without Jana this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How was your 4th of July? I hope it was fantastic. Welcome to the 5th of July, which usually happens after the 4th of July. It is a Friday morning. It's National Bikini Day. Woohoo! It's also Workaholics Day. Only workaholics show up on the 5th of July to work. And it's Apple Turnover Day today. Remember to turn over your apple so it doesn't. We have a brand new Seize the Deal deal going live at 9 o'clock this morning at SeizeTheDeal.com. It's for the fabulous Bright Spot Cafe in Sea Isle City. They make some great food. You, uh, today, starting at 9 a.m. at SeizeTheDeal.com, you can get a $50 gift certificate for Bright Spot for just $25. Find out more at SeizeTheDeal.com. Good morning. I'm Joe Kelly. Here are three things you need to know this morning. Murder in Atlantic County. Authorities say a 49-year-old Lakewood man was stabbed to death. Wednesday, in a Maze Landing home, a 39-year-old Maze Landing man has been arrested and charged with the murder. It looks like a green light so far for the state's first offshore wind farm. The U.S. Interior Department approved the proposed Atlantic Shores offshore wind farm. The project, if built, would be built between Atlantic City and Long Beach Island. Final federal approval is still needed. And Cape May Point State Park has been named the best place in the state for a picnic. If you bring the chicken, I'll bring the lawn darts. Partly sunny across South Jersey today. Slight chance of a late day shower. High of 90. Free app. It's powered by Broadley's Plumbing, Heating, and Air. It's the Cat Country 107.3 app. Find it wherever your apps are sold. Or actually, it's free. It's called Cat Country 107.3. Good morning. Welcome to a Friday morning. It's nice to have that holiday on a Thursday, and then the week becomes really short afterward, especially if you don't have to work. If you're looking for something to do, our buddy uh, comedian Pat McGann is going to be in Atlantic City tonight at Ocean Casino. We had... Uh, we had Pat on the show earlier with us earlier this week, and uh, he said everyone who comes to his show tonight uh, gets a gets a free gift. Everyone will be given a water bottle to bring it back to their kids so they can stay hydrated. After seven thirty, morning trivia. We got tickets to see Sam Hunt. Sam is going to be in Camden next Thursday night. You can win your tickets just after seven thirty. This Cat Country one hundred seven point three mornings with Joe and Jana. Without Jana this morning, it's time for your Cat Country joke of the morning. Jim lives in Mays Landing. He sent us today's joke. Thank you, Jim. Guy sees a sign in front of a house, talking dog for sale. <laughs> he rings the bell, and the owner tells him the dog is in the backyard. Go check him out. The guy goes in the backyard and sees a black mutt just sitting there. You talk, he asks. The dog says, yep. So what's your story? Well, the dog looks up and says, well, I discovered my gift of talking pretty young, and I went to the help the government. So I, I told the CIA about my gift, and in no time... They had me jetting around from country to country, sitting in rooms with spies and world leaders because no one figured a dog would be eavesdropping. I was one of their most valuable spies eight years running. The dog continues, the jetting around really tired me out, and I knew I wasn't getting any younger, and I wanted to settle down, so I signed up for a job at the airport to do some undercover security work, mostly wandering near suspicious characters and listening in. I uncovered some incredible dealings there and was awarded a batch of medals. I had a wife, a mess of puppies, and now I'm just retired. <laughs> The guy is just amazed at this talking dog. He goes back in and asks the owner, how much? The owner says, $10. $10? This dog is amazing. Why on earth are you selling him for so cheap? The owner says, he's just a big liar. He didn't do any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets to give away this morning. We'll do that on Morning Trivia, special Friday edition, just after 7.30 this morning on Cat Country 107.3. Cat Country 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jana. Without Jana this morning, it's time for your Cat Country Dumb Story of the Morning. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Really this morning, we go to England. A woman dumb, dialed the emergency dumb, number really to say dumb. that a member of her household it was, was missing. Really dumb, dumb. Police informed the woman dumb, dumb, dumb. that the number she called was for genuine emergencies, not for missing hamsters. Three mornings with Joe and Jana. Without Jana this morning, good morning. Welcome to a Friday morning. Hope all is well with you. We got a new Seize the Deal going live today at 9 o'clock. It's for Bright Spot, Bright Spot Cafe in Sea Isle City. Great place for breakfast, lunch, and more. Starting today at 9 a.m. at SeizeTheDeal.com, you'll be able to get a $50 gift certificate for Bright Spot for just $25. Find out more at SeizeTheDeal.com. That's SeizeTheDeal.com. Good morning. I'm Joe Kelly. Here are three things you need to know this morning. Murder in Atlantic County. Authorities say a 49-year-old Lakewood man was stabbed to death. Wednesday, in a Mays Landing home, a 39-year-old Mays Landing man has been arrested and charged with the murder. It looks like a green light so far for the state's first offshore wind farm. The U.S. Interior Department approved the proposed Atlantic Shores offshore wind farm. The project, if built, would be built between Atlantic City and Long Beach Island. 
Final federal approval is still needed. And Cape May Point State Park has been named the best place in the state for a picnic. If you bring the chicken, I'll bring the lawn darts. Partly sunny across South Jersey today. Slight chance of a late day shower. High of 90. Joe and Jana, if you have to go to work today, I'm so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> Birthday shout out time on Cat Country 107.3. Bill Albrecht of Cape May Courthouse is 57. Happy birthday, Bill. Happy birthday to Amber. She's from Ocean View. She has no last name. She likes Cher. Happy birthday, Amber. Happy birthday to Chuck Bedoin Jr. of KMA Courthouse. Chuck, 50 today. Nicole Wynn of Mays Landing is 40 today. Happy birthday, Nicole. Happy birthday to Tony Parcio of Williamstown. Tony is 39. And Lane Buckingham of Courthouse is 62. Happy birthday, Lane. We miss you. Happy with you as well. The recipient of our Cat Country Big Birthday shout-out today, Bill Albrecht of K. Courthouse 57. It's Cat Country 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jana. Jana is off this morning. I hope your July 4th festivities went well and you're looking forward to a big weekend. We're going to have some maybe just on and off uh, scattered showers or thunderstorms here and there. Otherwise, should be hot. Country 107, Country 107. 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jana. Cat Country Morning Trivia is on the air. Phone number is 609-383-1073 to answer the question and win. Or you can hit the Call Us button right there on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Prize today, two tickets to see Sam Hunt next Thursday. That's July 11th at 7 p.m. at the Freedom Mortgage Pavilion in Camden. So two concert tickets to see Sam Hunt up for grabs this morning. Here's the question. Loved by children... About 12 million of these are made each and every day. It's not any kind of food. Loved by children, about 12 million of these are made each and every day. That's a lot. 609-383-1073. Mornings with Joe and John on Cat Country Morning Trivia on the air at stake. We got two tickets to see Sam Hunt. He's going to be at Freedom Mortgage Pavilion in Camden next Thursday night. That's July 11th. Here's the question. Loved by children, about 12 million of these are made each and every day. Loved by children, 12 million of these are made each and every day. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Cat Country. Hi, Teddy Bears. No, that's not it. Thank you. Good morning, Cat Country. What's your answer? Um, stuffed animals. I'm sorry? Stuffed animals. No, that's not it. Thank you. 12 million of these are made every day. Every day. Hi, Cat Country. What's your answer? Crayons? Crayola crayons, absolutely right. You're a winner. Oh, yay! 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jana. Congratulations again to Alicia from Egg Harbor City. Alicia knew the answer was Crayola crayons on trivia. They sell about 12 million Crayola crayons each and every day. Yes, there is hope for humanity if kids are... Are you still using crayons today, right? Good morning. I'm Joe Kelly. Here are three things you need to know this morning. Murder in Atlantic County. Authorities say a 49-year-old Lakewood man was stabbed to death Wednesday in a Mays Landing home. A 39-year-old Mays Landing man has been arrested and charged with the murder. It looks like a green light so far for the state's first offshore wind farm. The U.S. Interior Department approved the proposed Atlantic Shores offshore wind farm. The project, if built, would be built between Atlantic City and Long Beach Island. Final federal approval is still needed. And Cape May Point State Park has been named the best place in the state for a picnic. If you bring the chicken, I'll bring the lawn darts. Partly sunny across South Jersey today. Slight chance of a late day shower. Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. Time now for my favorite tweets for the last 24 hours. We have five of them. Number one, to everyone who said my music hobby was a waste of time and would never lead to a career, I need to borrow some money. <laughs> Number two. A John Wick movie where he goes around assassinating people whose fireworks are upsetting the local dogs. Number three. Why buy expensive fireworks when you can make your own with ordinary household chemicals? I said. And the other patients in the ER agreed. My favorite tweet's number four. Caesar salad turns 100 this year. I hear it may run for president. And finally, my favorite tweet's number five. Last one. What kind of dye do I have to buy to make my Kraft macaroni and cheese fluorescent orange again, like God intended? I don't like that pale stuff. It's place. Good morning. Welcome to a Friday morning. Hope you're getting. Uh, hope you have the day off. First of all, hope you have the whole weekend off. We, we asked what women want, and found the answer: 
60% of women say they want a man who will kiss them in public. I assume this means after they're introduced. Back Country 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jana. We've got a brand new Seize the Deal going live at 9 o'clock this morning for the Bright Spot Cafe in Sea Isle City. Earlier this week, Jana had a chance to talk with the folks from Bright Spot Cafe. And we have Shannon here who brought me my Scrabble fries. And I'm so excited about it. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Jana. Good morning. Thank you for these Scrapple fries already. Okay, so the dip. What is the dip that we dip the Scrapple fries in? Tell everybody what it is. It's our bacon gravy. So the actual recipe is my husband's closely held secret. Uh, but it starts, it's, it's very similar to like a, a sausage gravy that's popular in the South. But it starts with the bacon fat. So, like, everything that's cooked in bacon is better, right? Of course. Um, Every time. That's what we use as a building block for so many of our dishes. So, we make a bacon omelet where we're hand-cut bacon lardons inside of it and then bacon gravy on top. And we put bacon gravy on our loaded scrapple fries. And we've got a bowl called an Abe Froman, named after the very famous character from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Got it! Okay, okay. It's a sausage bowl with our homemade home fries and smothered in bacon gravy. See, that sounds perfect. And it's perfect for the weekend that nobody is paying attention to their diet. For the July weekend, it's just off the table. I was not in the last time that you guys came in, Shannon, but you knew that I loved Scrapple. So you brought me these Scrapple fries with the bacon gravy and you can walk around the studio right now. Everybody will tell you. I was like drinking that bacon gravy like a soup. It was a serious problem. I can't be the only one. People are obsessed with it, right? They absolutely are. They order it as a side. Even if they get something like really healthy, then they get a a that of the bacon gravy to dip the healthy food in. Because it cancels it, it cancels everything out. It absolutely does. And it is the best hangover cure ever. Like, we are across the street from the OD, mm-hmm. so I see a lot of people who made decisions that they don't even remember. So when they come in in the mornings, I feel like I'm doing a good deed. You know, I'm furthering humanity by introducing them to bacon gravy. We'll have more with the Bright Spot Cafe coming up in a few minutes on Cat 